Hi, welcome to our first ever studio Hi. vlog. I'm Drea, as in designs by Drea. So on our studio vlogs, we're gonna be vlogging about everything that's not a tutorial. So you're gonna to get to see a behind the scenes look at day-to-day -day life in my embroidery studio. So different things, trying new techniques before we live roll our actual tutorial for it, um, new designs that we're testing, how I test, designing things, um, packaging orders. I do actually sell pre-made felties for folks who don't have embroidery machines and sometimes it's just easier. I'll make it for you. Sure, why not? Um, coming up with ideas, just basic stuff. So anything that's not a tutorial, we're gonna mishmash into studio vlogs. So hopefully you'll stick around throughout this video. Give it a try, hopefully you'll like it. Our tutorials are not going away, so they'll also be, uh, they're coming at the same time. So you'll kind of see how I got to making the tutorial pretty much is what's gonna happen. Um, today, we are gonna work on appliques. So appliques, I feel like we've already done appliques. That's great, how is that hard? Why do we need to do anything? So pretty much what I want to do is, um, every time you have to make an applique, you have to tack it down, stitch it, and then you have to trim yourself with scissors. Well, I know that it's possible to actually have your maker or your silhouette cut it out for you, and then you don't have to do anything at all except for get that placement spot on. So I need to figure out how to turn my designs into really good cut files. So we're gonna go through that today and we're gonna do a trial and error on how to get that done. Never done this before, so it's gonna be a first for me and we're gonna struggle along through it together. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. I have, this is my computer and I decided we're gonna try to work with this Apple applique first because it seems like it has the most simple shapes to kind of do this and not too many of them. So I'm looking at it and these look really big to me. So I'm actually going to go into, I use in Brilliance and I'm going to look at what size this is that I'm testing because this is totally disproportionate. So we're having some issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure that out. Okay, so I've decided that I think I'm at a point where I'm gonna try it. I did some math, someone help us because <laughs> math was not my strong suit, literally ever. So we're gonna try it. I'm doing a guesstimate. Um, we're gonna prep our fabric, so we need to get our cottons ready and we also need to put some heat and bond down the back of them. So I'm gonna do some quick prep and then we're gonna try to cut it on the machine. Um, we might be doing this like 10 more times today, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I got all my stuff ready, so I'm going to prep my fabric. So let's go ahead and do that.
Hey guys, so we got it cut out. Um, the only thing is I wasn't too happy with the shape. If you can see, the edges are a little rough. They're not quite as smooth, and I noticed it mostly because my blade keep getting picked up and repositioned. It was just a really weird jaggedy thing. So I don't like that. I'm gonna do some research online and figure out how to fix that, and then I'm gonna test the applique on my brother machine to see if my sizing that I made up in my mind actually works. All right, I just wanna show this to you guys. Let me just pop this off. So, already experiencing some errors on sizing. If you can see, it goes over. That would be where the satin stitch is, and that is just way off. There's no way anyone would need to trim. <laughs> you guys have a lot of trimming. So, I think I need to take a little bit off of this, and then I gotta figure this out. I gotta do some more work on the computer kind of get this to work but yeah you can see that part of it will come within that will not so it needs to be sized down a tad this needs to be sized down like holy cow so much so back to the drawing board and then we're gonna give this another go just came back from my mailbox and got some stuff in Let's see, I wanna show you. I just got some thread. I got my thread order, so. Okay, so here we go. I actually ordered from the manufacturer this time, so this is the first thing. Oh boy, wow. What a huge box for such a tiny little package, apparently. Oh, yeah. This color, oh my god, I think it matches perfect. I totally eyeballed it on the screen. I've been really good at guessing what matches what I already have. Oh yeah, that green I use a lot. This, tan, did I get two tans? No, one's slightly different than the other. I see. Okay, that's cool. Another box. Oh, what's this? Oh, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for your business. I love that. I will use it. Most definitely. Thank you much. All right, let me turn this. Oh, okay. Madeira. 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 I don't even know how you say it. <laughs> Somebody help me. Oh, gosh, one handed. One -handed. How do people box open? I don't know how people do this in the real world. So, let's figure this out. Oh, here we go. Ooh, what I picked. <laughs> oh good, I was testing out to see if I could find a good brown. And I'm also, you could tell, I went really beige. These are kind of my sample beiges that I wanted to try. And all those, oh, dusty, that's like a dusty rose. Heck yes. Love it, and that's like a copper. Yeah, I'm trying to color match a yellow to a yellow I already have that came with uh, my genome. So, let's see. Come on. I don't want to focus. I'm trying to color match a yellow, and this, I'm trying to color match a couple of yellows. I tried to do it in my little booklet that I got. I do have a booklet. 
that I got from the manufacturer to tell me exactly what threads. Ooh, threads. So many colors, but it's actually kind of hard. It tends to get a little vague, like for instance, all those grays. Can you tell the difference? They're only slightly different on some of them. Look at those. The variance is so small. So I had land up having to get like a whole spool just to figure out what's really gonna match what I already have, which is kind of what I did here, if you could tell. So I'm super excited, oh my gosh. And yeah, and I got really big ones. I will use up this green. No, no kidding, I'm about to use all this. Um, I had bought a gold and a black also before, so this will be nice. And this gray, I actually use quite a bit also. So excited, all right, cool, well, you know, I love getting mail. So here's a like funny takeaway about all this. Like I love getting happy mail and I love getting things in the mail and I love opening packages. The caveat is I have to pay for things to come in the mail so that way I can open them and be excited. So I guess that's a really expensive way to kind of get excited about day to day life, but I cannot tell you how excited I get over packages. So um, way excited about this thread. Um, I'll be buying more from them. I wasn't quite sure also about their turnaround time, so I was a little worried that if I ordered them, they wouldn't fulfill it so soon because they're such a huge company. I mean, they're not just selling to me, poor little me in my uh, Etsy shop, but they're selling to, you know, actual big companies who are in turn retailing their products. So, whew, I was a little scared, but I'm actually super excited. They're really great. They shipped it out very fast. I was worried about how much it would cost to get something like that, but you have to spend a minimum of $50 for it to be worth their time. Um, if you don't do that, they do charge you like a $7.50 fee for the fact that they had to put your package together, which as someone who is a business owner, I totally get it. At some point, some things are just not worth it, so you do have to charge a little bit more. So anyways, that was really exciting. Hopefully we'll get more packages and more fun things that we can open together. Um, I love sharing this with you. I don't know if you're as excited to see Thread, but it's one of the few things that I get really excited about. So I'm going to add them to my ever-growing collection. Woo! Yay!